Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now today's episode, we're talking about a lesser known financial company out there called Check Systems. Now you may not have heard about it, but Check Systems is actually behind a lot of your bank account denials and ultimately the company that could be keeping you from those sweet, sweet bonuses. So of course, we're going to talk about Check Systems, how it works, what it is, and of course, we're going to talk about what you can do about it as well as take a look at my actual Checks report. So of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button and let's get to work. Now, first things first, what is Check Systems? Well, you know, if you're familiar with credit cards, and you know that credit cards and credit products have FICO scores and even Vantage scores to a lesser extent right now, which basically, you know, they track, you know, how you perform with credit products, you make your payments, what your credit limits look like, what are your balances, credit history, that whole deal, right? And then lenders use that to figure out if they want to make a lending decision, how much they want to give you, all that good stuff. Well, Check Systems is almost the same thing except focused on deposit accounts, right? So it has nothing to do with your credit score, nothing to do with FICO, nothing to do with Vantage, but it operates kind of the same way. And hence, there is a report of sorts. We're going to look at mine. There's also a score. So um, here you have it. Again, check systems. They're basically a banking reporting agency focused on deposit account activity. So again, checking savings accounts, money market, things like that. Um, so they're going to keep records of those banking activities. And then the banks and credit unions, again, they use this to make a decision. It's normally smaller banks and credit unions, honestly, um, but we will see some bigger names on my report. So what specifically are they looking at? Well, they're looking at involuntary account closures, balance checks, unpaid negative balances, account or ATM abuse, suspend, or being suspected of fraud, or number six might catch your eye, the number of accounts applied for. So again, a lot of those are pretty obvious, the first five of why banks would want to avoid those. So really, you know, what they're doing is saying, hey, we need to know some level of, is this a good customer or not? Is this person going to cost this money? Because again, if you're bouncing checks, if you're just getting your account shut down and with negative balance, is eventually that's going to cut into the bank's bottom line, right, and be a hassle for them. But number six is the one that we're focused on most. So in this game of bank account bonus hunting, more often than that, it involves opening an account. And I've opened 70 accounts last year, midway through 2022, August, I'm about 35-ish accounts in. So open them a lot of accounts, right? So this will talk about why this looks questionable to the bank, right? Well, the primary reason is most people simply don't open this many bank accounts. Most people have maybe two to three, or what most people are really more likely to do is say, hey, I'm going to open another account with Bank of America. So you could just open up another savings account for another thing or something versus going to another bank altogether. And so what happens is, you know, if you were to say you want to deposit a large sum of money, like $10,000, then banks have to report that to, uh, you know, to the government, right? Because the government's always in your business. Now, why is that relevant to this? Well, what people would do is open up multiple banks because it's $10,000, you know, in a rolling 12 month period, but it does, the banks don't necessarily talk to each other. So if you were trying to get rid of a bunch of money or I guess launder money very easily, City Bank of America Chase, that's $30,000, you know. Now, of course, that's a it's a high-level explanation of the rule. You probably don't want to just make it that obvious and deposit 10000 but you get the point, right? This could be some kind of suspicious activity, and a lot of times banks don't want to do it. And, of course, I believe they can also kind of infer with that, you know, hey, they might just be here for the bonuses as well. So that's Check Systems. Check Systems does have a score as well. I believe it goes from 100 to 899 Um, I didn't get my score this time, but last time I did this for my main channel, my scores right around in the five, something like that. Um, the higher the score, generally the better it is. It is also possible to not have a check score because not all banks participate in this. It's not necessarily, again, like FICO or Vantage. So it's possible that you don't really have a check report or a check score. You know, again, but if you're watching this, if you're participating in this channel, I'm going to guess you do. So the next question is, how do you check your checks report? So on screen, here you have it. You go to checksystems.com. I will link it down below for you. And you're going to go through here, and there's two options. Now, you can get the checks report. You can get it, you know, digitally. They'll pull it up in PDF, and you can take a look at it. And of course, that's what we're going to take a look at mine in a little bit. Now, in addition to that, if you want the score as well, then apparently you have to mail away or they were going to mail it to you. Um, they'll send you the full report and the score. Again, I did that last time. I can link the original video down below for my channel. But again, I believe I was in the fives or something like that. And of course, that's how you're going to get your information. Now, you can see the rules around it. They're basically saying, hey, if you were denied, then you know you have the right to go in here and request one. So next question is, how do you know you're denied? before we get into my report itself. Well, you're going to get a letter in the mail that looks something like this. I can take a picture of it and put it on screen for you. 
But basically, this is from my example. This is going to be from a Michigan Schools and Government Credit Union. Surprise, they said no to me. And this is a notice of adverse action. So there's definitely a formal document that looks the same, and then they, they included a letter. So really quick, I'll read this letter in part, and then we will uh, take a look at my checks report as well. So it says, this is dated August 1st. It's saying, like, hey, we are sorry, but we are unable to accommodate your request to open a deposit account with our institution at this time. Our decision was based in whole or in part on information obtained in a report from the consumer reporting agencies listed below. You have a right under the Fair Credit Reporting Act to know the information contained in your file at the Consumer Reporting Agency. The reporting agency played no part in our decision and is unable to supply specific reasons why we have denied your request to open a deposit account in our institution. You also have a right to a free copy of your report from the reporting agency if you request it, if you request it no later than 60 days after you receive this notice. In addition, if you find that any information contained in the report you receive is inaccurate or incomplete, you have the right to dispute the matter with the reporting agencies then they list check systems as the agency now they also have this other here this this um, adverse action notice which again we'll just skim through it here but at the bottom here there's a part one principal reasons for credit denial and that is at the bottom they say other but failed to qualify excessive inquiries with other banks credit unions please visit a branch or location to open an account and we will talk about that so that's what you get that's how you're going to know now more often than not the bank's going to cease all communication with you, right? You know, like you, it's basically like credit cards again. When you get approved, everyone's your friend. You get the instant app, instant approval. Sometimes they give you a digital card. With this, you're just usually going to get a, hey, we'll get back to you in some time. And then all of a sudden, the letter will show up in the mail. And of course, the problem with this letter is that it doesn't say anything helpful and typical. Now, this is, you know, the requirement that the government has to notify you of adverse action. But unfortunately, this tells you a lot of things, but nothing at all, right? Because, of course, it's up to the bank's guidelines and policies, which they don't disclose. They're not really telling you why. They're not really telling you who made the decision. Well, they made the decision, but it's 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 not super helpful at all. That's why I'm making this video, basically, because on occasion, you will get some of these. Now, as promised, let's take a look at my checks report here. So I have it on the iPad here. So what I'll do is I'll put this on screen for you guys so you can see it. I'm going to start a quick screen recording here. Now, we're not going to go through the entire thing, um, but... What we have here is the uh, the reports. I just had to black out a lot of stuff. So check systems, you can see when I pulled it. So here you go. The first page, not a whole lot there, but you can say check systems clients, which consists mainly of financial institutions, furnish information on closed checking and savings accounts, referred to as reported information. So there you go. They're basically just telling you what it is. So this is 36 pages long. I can tell you 33 of these pages have bank info. The last few pages are just kind of documentation stuff for their stuff. So here you go. Here's the last one, the one letter we just read, Michigan Schools and Governments. So what you'll notice here, I'm just blacking out Social Security, driver's license, and you know address, but you know they don't tell you what they sent. They can just say that an inquiry was made, right? Um, which isn't super helpful because it doesn't tell you what information that they requested. You know, but again, they're all looking for all the trackers. I would assume that you know they checks is at least showing them all the negative balances. If you had negative balances, derogatory marks, things like that. But again, they can see all the accounts. You know, so you know U.S. Alliance, Federal Credit Union, Chartway, Veda denied me, Omni let me in, Sky One denied me. Fifth Third, they're a regional bank. Uh, they're you know fairly big, so they do it. But I still got in with them. Teachers Federal Credit Union, if you guys remember the disaster that video was. Now, BMO Harris Bank is good because I did apply in branch, but I opened four accounts with them. But see, there's only one inquiry. Premier Bank, um, I don't even remember what Savista Bank was. <laughs> um, Service Federal Credit Union, First Merchants, America. So you get the point, right? We don't need to go through all of these. But <laughs> Boeing, <laughs> I don't even know why I would try to pretend to be a Boeing employee. But I tried Pennsylvania, Michigan State, tried to be a student, didn't get in digital federal credit so you get the point right this is basically what your checks report looks like this just goes on for like 36 pages total overall but that is what the report looks like and again my score last time was somewhere in the mid fives so overall that is again that is going to be your checks report now you know a few things here i already touched on my anger towards the letters right because again i don't think these letters are helpful. They cause more questions than they really do, and they, they don't answer anything. It just says you're out because of checks. But again, I hadn't heard of checks report before I started getting denied for bank accounts. No one really knows what that means. Now, the big question, though, is 
Does it matter? Do I care? Does this change my behavior? Well, you know, spoiler alert, since I said I made this video almost two years ago on the main channel when I started doing this, I know I don't personally care. And the reason I don't personally care that much, because again, it's not like credit. And number two, you can still see banks are letting me in, right? So it's just that some banks are sensitive to the amount of inquiries, amount of account opens. Fifth Third, apparently not. BMO, apparently not. City was on the list too. We just didn't get to that page, but they're not. They're really looking for the negative stuff. And I don't have any of the negative stuff, so they're fine with that. And I still have hub accounts, right? So my Chase and my Ally are accounts that I'm always going to keep open because I can keep using them. Chase is always where I'm at, you know, branches. And sometimes I do need, you know, checks and cash and things like that. And then Ally is really easy to transfer money to. So it just works for me. I have my set account, so I'm not going to be out of a banking home anytime soon. It's not like I just need to get a new account. And, you know, the other thing is there is potentially ways to get around this, and that is applying in branch. So we saw Premier Bank on that list. Well, with Premier Bank, they denied me due to checks. And then I went in branch. And then they didn't even make any mention of it. And they opened the account right up. Even this letter here on the adverse action notice, it actually says down here, I put it up on screen. I can do it again. You know, failed to qualify, but please visit a branch location to open an account. So which means if I went and found a branch, they'd probably open the account. I don't know why they would say that. They had to type it in there. Someone typed it in there, right? Because it's, it's in the other column. So, you know, it could probably be done. Perhaps they ask you some questions about it. But overall, Premier Bank didn't care and this has happened to me before and I go on branch and it usually works. So for that reason I don't really worry about my check score because I'm not closing accounts in a negative way. You always want to close on good terms, which means you basically you close with a zero balance and you wait then you wait the however long you have to wait to keep the account open, normally 90 days or something like that. So you know whether you care or not is up to you, honestly. I do know it bothers some people. That's totally your call. Um, so really if it does then maybe you just kind of want to pace out how you play the game. You know, I believe these things can stay on your report for a few years. I'll put the real number on screen here, but overall for me, not too bad. I think it's still worth it to go after all these bonuses. It ends up being way more profitable than trying to pick and choose. Plus banks don't really, you may be able to find it somewhere, um, but for the most part, banks don't make it easy to find if they report to checks, or if they pull checks or things like that. A lot of it's just crowdsourced data to begin with. But either way, I did want you to know this before you get too far into the game. So anyways, guys, that's been Check Systems and <laughs> look at my checks report. Of course, if you want to check yours, um, pun intended, then go do that. Then maybe list down below what, you know, how many pages yours is. Can you beat 36 pages? Because that was long, even for me. I didn't think it was going to be that long. But anyways, guys, of course, let me know what you think about this mystery uh, banking group as well that no one ever seems to tell you about. But anyways, guys, of course, if you've liked it, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel because we're posting videos just like this every week on how to make banks money become your money. Again, sound off down below on your thoughts about checks. You know, what are your thoughts? Do you care about your score and your report? Love to hear your thoughts about that. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, Thank you so much for watching and talk to you very soon in the next one.